I gave my whole Wheel of Time collection to an English literature student and asked, can you read this series and then we can talk about it? And to my surprise, she said yes. And my wife, who is an English literature student, has now read the first seven books of the Wheel of Time and today we're going to ask her the very important questions. What does she love about the Wheel of Time? What is her favorite book? Does she prefer the show or the books? Who are her favorite characters? And what are the best and worst covers in the Wheel of Time? So we're going to try to keep this totally spoiler free, but if there's a spoiler, we will make it clear. All right, let's jump into it. Having read the first seven books of the Wheel of Time, do you prefer the books or the show? I think purely because of how you, much you invest in a book and especially a series i am enjoying the series more the book series i did enjoy the tv show but i am definitely enjoying the books more yes so out of season one what rating would you give season one from one to five stars i would give 3.5 so what do you hope to see in season two of the wheel of time show i would hope to see it line up a bit more with mm. the book series um, but I, I think what I hope then instead is for good character development and to sort of feel some sort of connection with the characters a bit more. I think I'd like to see a bit more out of Perrin, probably. I want to see more of Loyal. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get into the nitty gritty. What is the worst Wheel of Time cover? If you know me, you know which cover I hate. <laughs> to be honest, the one that I really, really don't like is this one, A Crown of Swords. I feel like if this is supposed to be Rand, then I'm like, what is going on with him? He looks like he's 45 years old and he's got like massive arms. Like Rand isn't that old. Like he's not built like a bodybuilder. So I think that's my main thing. Yeah, that is a very ugly cover, but there's one that is even worse in my opinion. The Romans cover Lord of Chaos. What is this? This looks like a love story with dragons or something. <laughs> yeah. And do you have a favorite cover? Um, it's actually the first one. Oh. And it's mainly just, it's not like a favorite favorite as such. It's more just because I love the fact that before I even started reading the series, I genuinely thought Moraine was a child. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that there was a child in this book and I couldn't, and when reading, I was like, where's this young child? <laughs> yeah, it's just weird. It's extremely strange. So I find this my favorite cover so far, purely for humorous reasons. So my favorite cover is of Knife of Dreams. I'll put up the cover art here. I think that cover just looks absolutely amazing. Sorry for interrupting the video. If you want to access the full conversations without any edits, I'll add that to my Patreon. And speaking of Patreons, I just want to say a special thanks to my patrons who support what I do here. So having read seven Wheel of Time books, which has been your favorite so far? I feel like because there's so many of them, they kind of really merge as one. I think I'm going to have to choose two. So it's either The Dragon Reborn or The Fires of Heaven. My favorite Wheel of Time book is probably the Great Hunt. The ending of this book is so iconic. I loved it. So speaking of favorite books, which has been your least favorite Wheel of Time book as of now? Um, I wasn't that big a fan of The Great Hunt. Having gotten further in the series now, I'm kind of like, but yeah, still not the biggest fan of that book. Really? I thought you were going to say yeah. A Crown of Swords. The Great Hunt is yeah, definitely but... not as bad as A Crown of Swords. But like, there's a lot of stuff that happens with the female characters in book seven that I really sort of am enjoying. So my least favorite Wheel of Time book is definitely Crossroads of Twilight. One of the worst, not even just Wheel of Time books, but one of the worst fantasy books I've ever read in my life. So having read seven books of the Wheel of Time, what do you love about this series? I think one thing that I love about it, but also it's kind of like a love-hate relationship, is how long it is. Uh, you end up investing so much time in these characters and in their stories and in their, their lives. It means that you, you start to really care about the characters. But then also the fact that the series is so long, it also kind of means that reading the Wheel of Time is like a massive sort of endeavor. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the characters, although I also hate some of them. And the world building <laughs> is some of the best I've ever seen. And I agree with you, it definitely feels like an achievement when you have yeah. finished the whole series. But is there anything you hate about The Wheel of Time? One thing that I do not like, a lot of lack of communication uh, between <laughs> characters, especially between male and female characters. Yeah. And like, I kind of understand some of it because at times it's characters are in a position where they don't think that they can trust anyone. Um, and then it's like, can they even trust their sort of best friend kind of thing? But um, it also means I'm just kind of sat there, I'm like, oh my goodness, like you're assuming so much and it's just, stupid like if you just asked a simple question you'd be fine like uh, you'd solve a thousand problems yeah 
I don't enjoy some of the male female interactions and yeah and uh, there's quite a few uh, relationships in the book and their dynamics there that I do not like and that I'm kind of like that is so toxic <laughs> what I hate about a real time is the slog and the slog is real but book eight to ten I mean they're almost pointless I know some important things happen but man that is a slog so who are your favorite characters in the wheel of time Egwene I really like Egwene I feel like she's probably also the character where I'm like agreeing with her the most I really liked Nynaeve at the start at the moment I'm kind of like come on get over yourself kind of thing uh, but I, I think she might sort of get back to herself I really like Matt I wouldn't really want to be friends with Matt, <laughs> but I do yeah. like his character. Interesting, you didn't mention Moraine or Rand, who are my favorite characters in the whole, whole series. So some might consider this a spoiler, but if you want to guess how the series is going to end, take your best guess. Well, um, they keep talking about there being a war that the Dragon Reborn is supposed to be in. And so I'm assuming that war is going to happen. I like to think that Although sort of the prophecy says that the dragon reborn is going to die, I like to think that that might not happen. Because mm. there's certain things that people have been talking about, oh, that's not possible, that's impossible. Maybe Rand will survive. Mm. I like to think that there will be this final war, but he might not die. So this is a massive spoiler if you haven't read up to book five. So if you have read uh, book five and onwards, then you should be safer just for this question. And I'll put a timestamp up here if you want to skip just this question. But do you think Moraine is dead? At the moment, no. I don't think she's actually dead. But Johan's reaction to when I've said that kind of makes me think that she possibly is. But no, I don't think she's... I, I kind of feel like Moraine's not dead and Lamphia's not dead. Interesting. Well, you have read two books where Moraine hasn't appeared. So we'll see if um, your she guess She might is be in a enter. different world. Two more questions. Might be considered spoilery. But the question is, do you think Robert Jordan is going to kill off any main characters in the later books? And if so, do you want to guess which characters um, he's going to kill off? I don't think he's going to kill off like the main, main, main characters, unless it's like at the very, very end. Hmm. Um, but I think there's some like sort of sub main characters that you really care about that I could imagine that he'd kill. Very interesting. So the very, very final question, having read seven books, do you plan on finishing this whole series? Of course. Oh, well, that's good. At least you know, like, re having read seven books, you think it's going to be worth spending another year or so like, trying to get through the series. Have you read The Wheel of Time? Which are your favorite books in the series? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.